Welcome my yogi friends to your 7 day yoga journey. Today is day number 3. Feel. On our third day we're going to start on our back. So stretch your legs long and find a way back down onto the ground. Arms by your side. And then just taking a couple of moments here to settle in. Find the perfect position for your hands, maybe palms down or up, maybe on your belly. Find some softening through the toes, through the fingertips, length through the back of the neck. And because today's Day is all about feeling. I invite you to close your eyes straight away. As always, if that is not an option, feel free to gaze above you towards the ceiling, focusing on one point, one drishti point. But with the eyes closed, it's a good opportunity here to feel into the back of the body. So feel into all those little contact points between the back of the body and the ground. So let's start at the back of the head. And you can feel this little pressure here in the back of the shoulder blades. Maybe you can even feel the fabric of your shirt you're wearing. Feel the elbows wrists and the back of the hands on the ground eventually detecting what kind of floor is underneath you carpet wood feeling the texture and moving further down feeling your buttocks on your mat and then the back of the thighs, back of the calves, and your heels. Feeling this little pressure everywhere in those spots. Eventually detecting for most of them what kind of fabric you're touching and maybe even what kind of temperature the spots are holding that you have contact with underneath you. From there feeling into your feet, feel the temperature of your toes, feeling into the fingertips, feel the temperature there. And then feeling into the lungs, feel the breath flowing in and out of them. Noticing this subtle rising every time you inhale. And the softening, grounding on the exhalation. Beautiful, subtle flow of breath. Just take a couple of deeper breath here. And you can guide those into the belly or into the chest. Doesn't really matter here. Just be aware of where you're guiding them to, where you can feel the sensation. Feel the stretch. Feel the softening on the exhale. So two more deep breath here and big exhalations and last breath here and exhale. Next in here we're gonna bring the arms above the head, big stretch, full body stretch, flexing or pointing the toes, reach long, maybe even a yawn here and exhale slowly blink open the eyes and gather your knees into your chest 
come straight away. I want to start with a little bit of movement here, just walking the knees left to right, exploring any sensations here in your lower back. So it's a spot where heaps of people hold tension or experience pain every now and then. So this time just giving it a little massage. So you can walk left to right or draw circuit with the knees, doesn't really matter. Just exploring the sensations here. Maybe even walk a bit further up, explore a bit further up the back, or you let the knees drop a bit further away, giving the buttocks a nice little massage. So one more big breath into the belly here, feeling into the lower back the sacrum area. Then coming back into the center, we draw some small circuits here with the ankles, just to warm up those. Into one direction and the other. Maybe wiggle the toes as well. Might hear some cracks. And from here we're gonna Extend the left leg long, leave the right knee in the chest. Give it a nice little squeeze. Big breath here and we're going to open the knee over to the right. You can bring the left hand on your left hip or out to the side of that helps you stabilize a bit better. We bring some flexion into the left foot, so toes pointing towards the ceiling. And take deep breath into the right hip, the right inner thigh. Make sure your shoulders are still soft. We keep breathing. There's the option now here to stay in our more gentle hip and groin stretch or move into a half happy baby. For this we would bring the hand on the outside edge of the right foot. Start to move the foot towards the ceiling. So opening up through the hip and groin. We've got a bit of pressing of the right hand down into the right foot. So quite a bit of engagement here between foot and hand. So if you can't reach your foot, it's completely fine to hold to the back of the leg or even your ankle or calf. So your choice here. I'm gonna take one more big breath into the hip. Awesome opening, make sure there's still a bit of sensation here in your left leg, slightly pressing the left leg even into the ground if possible. And then we release, bend the right knee, take a big twist over with the knee to the left. Bring your right hand out to the side, just for a bit of a counter stretch here. One more big breath. And exhale, coming back into the center, extending the right leg long. Taking a moment to feel, feel into the different sensations of both legs after we opened up the right hip already a bit. Let's do the same with the left hip. Bringing the left knee in. Tiny squeeze here first, snuggling it up further into the chest. And then right hand can come onto the hip or over to the right side and we're opening up to the left. Such a nice opening over the hip, the groin. Remembering our engagement in the right foot, pressing into the right here. And then eventually we go deeper and bring the left hand on the outside edge of the left foot, moving into our half happy baby on the left side. Pressing the left hand down, pressing the left foot into the hand, pressing the right leg into the ground, keep breathing. Nice opening as well for the hamstrings of the left leg here. And we're bending the left knee and then the other center over into our twist. 
breathing into the belly. If it feels okay, you can look over to the left side. And we slowly find our way back up in center. Bring both knees in, bring the nose up towards the knees, big stretch here. Pull the back of the neck, relax the shoulders down. From here, relaxing the head back down to the ground. And bring the chins parallel towards the ceiling. We're going to do a little bit of a core workout warm up before we move further. So bring your hand behind the head, moving into our yogi bicycles. So elbows are super, super wide. We're going to lift just slightly off the ground. So we're not crunching here. Really nice and long through the spine. Gaze is up towards the ceiling. Elbows are open. Ground down through the lower back. Inhale here and exhale. Little twist over to the left. And we're going to extend the right leg as well. Inhale back into the center. Exhale over to the right. Super broad and nice and open through the elbows. Inhale back into the center. Exhale over to the left. Inhale center. Exhale right and we do one more each side. Inhale center. Take your time. If it's slower the better. Exhale left. Inhale center and last one here. Squeeze and lift and back into the center. Release the arms, release the feet down, we bring the soles of the feet together for two deep inhalations here into the belly in our Supta Baddha Konasana. Feeling the warming up of the muscles of the core, feeling this nice releasing here of the engagement when you take a deep inhale into the belly. Big stretch. Almost like blowing up a balloon here. Hands come back underneath. Uh, legs guide them together. And we will find our way into a tabletop position. So there are a couple of options. You can walk up and down the spine. Or you can simply roll over to one side. Pressing yourself up. Making our way around into tabletop here. Hands underneath the shoulders. Knees underneath the hips. And we're going to bring the knees wide and the big toes to touch. Move into a cat cow and child's pose. So I know, crazy. So take an inhale to drop the belly, chest shines forward like in our cat cow. And then exhale, we round, but we move over to the right side, coming back into our child's pose. Rounding, inhale over to the left and dropping the belly exhale over to the right rounding through warming up the hips inhale coming forward big stretch here for the front for the shoulders keep moving taking one more this way next time on the inhale reversing the circle going over to the left Exhale, stretching the back. Inhale, over to the right, stretching forward. It's completely fine with that feels a bit stuck in your hips and shoulders. We're just here, beginning, warming up, feeling all the sensations. And one more this way. Such an awesome little stretch coming back into child's push just for a couple of breaths walking the fingertips forward relaxing the forehead down breathing deeply into the back of the body feeling this nice little stretch here in your shoulders your hips might even feel it at the sides of the rib cage from here bring your gaze forward and find our way back into a tabletop Tuck the toes under, rotate the elbow creases forward, downward facing dog. As always, the first one here can be right wiggly, 
exploring any sensations in hips, shoulders, torso, back of the legs, feet. Really feeling into the sensations. And not only being aware of all the physical sensations you can feel, also maybe the energy. Feel how you're lifting through the arms, through the hips, but also grounding into the feet and palms. Super nice and strong down with facing dog. Grounded, but also lifted. From here we're gonna bring the toes together and move into a plank. So think up and over, lifting forward into our plank. Press away from the mat, spread through the fingertips, long through the neck. We're slightly pressing into the heels, engage the core, keep breathing. Super strong through the crown of the head. Taking one more big inhale here. And exhale, we lower down onto the knees, untuck the toes, to the belly into cobra. We get the fingertips underneath the shoulders, press into the hips. Inhale, baby cobra here. Exhale, we lower down. Explore a bit further. Take the fingertips of the mat. Same level, still underneath the shoulders or in line with the shoulders. Pressing into the fingertips on the outside of the mat. Press into the hips. Inhale. Eventually lifting slightly further. Exhale, back down. We go one step further, move even further away with the fingertips, pressing into the hips to prepare, and inhale, we lift. Super awesome back bend, opening the chest here, being open to feel all the feelings, bring the shoulder blades together, and exhale. Everything back down, fingertips back underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes under. Be a tabletop downward facing dog. Gaze moves forward in between the hands. Walk, step, or jump forward, forward fold, Uttanasana. Relaxing the head down, lifting through the hips, relaxing through the shoulders. We're gonna go for a little bit of exploration here as well. So we turn the toes. Uh, to the side, but leave the heels where they are. You might feel that the stretch moves further into the outside edges of the leg. So it's so nice how just a subtle movement basically can completely transform the feeling or the sensation in your legs, in your body. Keep breathing into the back of the legs, keep softening through the upper body. And then we turn the heels further out, leave the toes where they are. Heels come further out. Stretch might have moved further towards the inside of the leg. Still remain soft in your upper body. See what's happening with the rest of the body as well. Can you relax through the toes and the fingers and the muscles in your face? Big strong breath here. And then slowly wiggle the feet back underneath the hips. And we're going to lift the left foot off the ground. Take a big step back with the left foot. Start with the arms open. Whoop, swoop. We're in warrior two. Wiggle your foot maybe a bit further forward taking our time here to make sure our alignment is perfect so front foot is in line with the inner arch of the back foot we're bending through the right knee but are still able to see the right big toe we're lengthening through the fingertips but relax the shoulders down gaze comes over the right fingertips here lengthen through the crown of the head rounding into the feet and because today is day number three, feel, close your eyes. 
of course if that causes you to fall over maybe open them back up otherwise we want to completely be aware be mindful here with our sensations so being in the present moment reaching through the fingertips but also feel how the shoulders plug back into the shoulder sockets press into the right foot press into the outside edge of the left foot but at the same time we feel a little lift through the inner arch of the left foot along the inner thigh lifting us from the bottom through the crown of the head absolutely nice little opposites always in our yoga practice we always have the pressing into one direction but also into the other one more nice inhale to lengthen exhale to ground through the feet and then blink open the eyes release the fingertips down we're going to turn the right toes in and the left toes slightly out so both toes are turned out a little bit here it's further in moving into our goddess pose so bend your knees coming down into kind of a squat posture and then from here relax the shoulders and we tuck the table and under make sure we really open through the knees the knees are opening up to the sides so they often tend to come in we want to open here in our inner thigh and in our groin inhale fingertips come up exhale come in front of the heart shoulders down maybe we sink a little bit deeper but like in our warrior two we want to make sure we can still see our big toes so the knees aren't going further forward than the ankle keep breathing you can do this maybe sinking a little deeper for the last cup of breath here super strong legs really working here on our yoga booty one more breath relaxing the shoulders down softening the neck Ooh, make sure you're not falling <laughs> and then we slowly lift back up hands onto the hips turn the left toes out right toes slightly in realigning front foot again with the inner arch of the back foot bending into the left knee inhale fingertips up exhale shoulders relax lengthen through the crown of the head grounding into the feet and like on the other side close your eyes make sure you feel stable enough but remember you can really trust your strength in your legs here feeling the sensations on the soles of the feet feeling the stretch in the fingertips even Feeling how every inhale lets us grow a bit further through the spine. Exhale, let's just sink deeper into the pose, grounding in ourselves. Two more big breaths here, you can do this. You're super strong. Super, super, super strong legs. Link the eyes back open, release the fingertips down. And we just take a big step back to the front of the mat with the left foot. Give the legs a little shake. Inhale, big, big stretch here. First one of the day in our standing pose. And bend the knees. We fall back down. Inhale, coming into our halfway lift, long through the spine. Exhale, plant the palms and we find our way back into downward facing dog. Just to prepare ourselves here for pigeon posture. We're going to start to lift the right foot and slide it forward along the left side of the mat, coming into pigeon. One of our deepest tips to achieve. This is where we might need our block. 
so if you don't have one you can even use a blanket or a cushion or pillow or anything because as you can already see i'm dropping over to the right side so the right hip is my tight hip you really want to have the hips square and level so i'm going to pop the block underneath my right hip making sure hips are nice and level and i can still feel quite a big stretch here in my right hip i'm going to check my left leg it's nice and straight pointing towards the back edge of the mat and ideally we're going to bring the right leg or the right shin parallel to the front edge of the mat but that's a lot of work for some people if the hips are tight so if you feel to still have a little bit of a bend in your right knee from here find some engagement in your right ankle that's just to protect the knee because often if we stretch the hip we can cause some strain in our knee we want to protect this so we engage the left ankle and then we can stay here if we feel okay there's nothing else i can do i can't move further i feel stuck or if we feel there's a little bit of room left we can slowly move further forward eventually even onto our forearms most important thing here keep breathing so keep breathing such a ginormous stretch so it's always said that our hips are connected to our feelings so it's completely fine if any kind of emotions or thoughts pop up while you're in this process it's completely normal but whatever arises acknowledge it but don't let it carry you away so don't overthink anything or go too deep into it you might have some feelings against me now here why is she doing this this terrible terrible posture it's completely fine take a big inhale and then exhale let it all go almost done here the last inhale and then we slowly release on the exhale we go away back into tabletop and then downward facing dog you might want to wiggle the hips once or twice just to stretch out the hip here and then we lift the left foot bringing the left foot forward and the same on this side you can use a block again blanket or pillow to pop underneath the left hip you really want to level those hips extend through the right leg find this engagement in our left ankle and our left foot so the toes are pulling towards the knee And here you might experience already a difference compared to the other side. So often our hips are quite different. So maybe this side is more open or a bit more tight. That's completely fine. Just acknowledging, not judging or trying to analyze. That's just how it is. There will be reasons for it, but there's no need to explore those now. We're just accepting where we're at with our stretchiness in our body, basically. And then feel free to once again come back onto the forearms. Relaxing through the shoulders and the neck. Taking deep, deep inhalations into the left hip. Exhalations to soften and release and relax. Take a moment to acknowledge any kind of thoughts that might have popped up. They might be completely out of context. So sometimes there are even thoughts that you haven't thought about since ages that come up when you stretch your hips. Completely normal. Acknowledge and then exhale, let it go. Take two more deep inhalations and exhalations here. And then 
slowly we start to walk back up. We move the prop and just bring our legs forward, bringing the feet down, hands behind. Take a couple of Richard Wiper movements here with the knees left to right, just to even out any kind of dodginess here in the hips. Nice little massage for the buttocks as well. From there, we will find our way into a kneeling. So bring your feet behind, coming into kneeling. If kneeling doesn't suit you, there's always the option to bring a bolster in between the legs. That makes it a bit more accessible or even something between buttocks and heels. Otherwise, we enjoy this little rest here for our hips for a moment and bring the left arm in front, moving into a shoulder stretch into our eagle arms. Left arm in front, right arm lengthens and crosses on top. We can stay here in this little fighting posture or if we can, we go into a not moving the hands around each other. From there, softening the shoulders down but lifting through elbows and hands. So elbows and hands try to move away from the body and we're relaxing the shoulders down. It's a super intense stretch here if you're someone who's quite tight in the shoulders. So keep breathing. If you want a little bit more, you can let the fingertips drop forward and slightly round through the upper back. Chin tucks towards chest. And we absolutely breathe deeply into the upper back body in between the shoulder blades. Such a big, big stretch here. Important to stretch the shoulders and neck as well on a regular basis. One of the other spots next to the hips that holds a lot of tension in our body. And from there, slowly coming back up, stretching the arms out to the side. Oh, fingertips up. Oh, big crack in my elbow. Fingertips down. And the other side. Right arm comes forward. Left arm reaches long, comes on top. Eventually, we stay open or go into our um, knot with our arms and hands. Relax our shoulders down, really pressing the shoulders down and then lifting elbows and fingertips up. Being aware of what's happening in your core, don't duck into a little bit of a lower back bend. Make sure you engage the core, tuck the table and slightly under and if we want more here, we're gonna let the hands drop forward tuck the chin towards the chest still relaxing the shoulders down breathing in between the shoulder blades awesome stretch awesome release there Slowly coming back up, releasing arms out to the side once again, fingertips up, fingertips down, and we wiggle off our feet, coming into cross leg. So you can use your block again for this if you like to sit a bit elevated or your blanket or cushion, whatever you had as your form. Hands come onto the knees, we rotate the shoulders up, back and down, once more, up, back and down, big stretch here. And then bring the left fingertips over to the left, and the ear drops over to the left as well. Next stretch here, last little one, if you need more, bring the right fingertips out to the side, feel free to close your eyes here. Breathing into the right side of the neck. Release 
releasing tension, being aware of all the feelings that are going on. Soften through the right shoulder and the left shoulder. Using your left hand to come back up into the center and then we'll bring the right ear towards the right shoulder. Once again the option to leave the left hand on your knee or you can bring the left fingertips out to the side if you want to go a little bit deeper. Keep breathing into the left side of the neck. A couple of nice juicy breath here into the neck. Relax both shoulders away from the ears. Enjoy this release of tension, maybe even of feelings. Last breath. And then we use the right hand to bring the head back up. A couple of rotations with the shoulders once again. And we come off the block. Find our way into our last posture, into Shavasana. So stretch the legs long, bring your arms by your side and surrender down into the ground. Once again, feeling into the spots in the back of the body, feeling how the weight of your body really presses into them. Absolutely releasing, relaxing. Feeling the breath in your belly and chest. Feeling tension leaving every time you exhale. And this is always, it's the moment where I'm going to leave you so you can stay here for as long as you like. I'm just going to bring my palms towards my third eye and say thank you for joining me here for this emotional feeling focused practice. I am very very grateful that you joined me here today that you were open to get confronted with your feelings and I can't wait to see you tomorrow again for our day four of our seven day yoga journey. I am deeply grateful so thank you so much and namaste. See you tomorrow.